Okay, what we got here is we've got an iPad that the headphone jack has broke off inside. Uh, you can't see it uh, from here, but there's a recessed hole inside the iPad. Uh, and the piece of the jack that we need to get out of here is down inside. So there's a bunch of other methods I've seen on YouTube, um, on the internet for getting this thing out, but um, this is the one that I found to work the best. And uh, I'm going to go through the steps on what I did to to get mine retracted. Okay, so uh, to start out with, you're going to need a standard drinking straw. You're going to need a uh, kind of a low wattage soldering iron, just the cheapy kind you can get at Radio Shack or Lowe's or someplace. Um, you're going to need a, a short piece of uh, number 14 wire, copper wire, uh, just, you know, like six inches or so. Uh, you need a couple of toothpicks and some solder, a pair of scissors, and some, like, plumber, plumber's um, lead flux, uh, solder flux. Yeah, you don't need much of this, but if you have a friend that's got a plumber torch, they probably got a can of this laying around. Okay. So I got a couple of bookends that I set here, so I can use it to hold the iPad, kind of steady it while we do our, our thing. So the first thing we're going to want to do is you want to take the drinking straw, and you want to cut off about maybe that much. About um, about an inch and a half or so. And then we need to take this piece and slit it up the middle, so so it kind of folds up over top of itself. And we're going to slide this down. Uh, when we get ready to solder it, we're going to slide this down. We want to cut off just a little bit more. Maybe, maybe the total amount is just about an inch. Okay, so we'll set this aside for now. Um, we want to take the solder paste and down inside you should see the tip of the jack. Like, not the tip, but you'll see like a little copper or brass piece that's sticking up out of in the middle of this hole. So what we want to do is we want to put a dab, just a dab, like just on the tip of the a toothpick, you just want a dab of this. You're going to stick it straight down in the hole and you're going to touch it right in the center, right in the center on top of that that little pin, that little brass pin that's in there. Okay? So after you get that done, you're going to slide this straw down in the hole till it stops. And that's going to protect our iPad from the solder. So then the next thing we do is we want to come over here and we want to take the uh, piece of wire and we're going to put just a dab of solder on the end of it. Turn the other end around, this one's a little more flat. So we just want a dab of solder on the end of this piece. It'll be like a little drop. Then what we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to take and hold this rod. We're going to slide it down the hole here on top of the straw, inside the straw. And we're going to hold it with a pair of pliers. Okay, so now we're going to... We're going to hold this down on top of that pin 
you put the end down that had the dab of solder on it and we're going to put this solder we're going to hold the solder iron about an inch above the top here and we're just going to hold it as tight as we can we're going to keep this copper wire still okay so what's going to happen is we're going to heat this we're going to heat up this wire and what's going to happen is it's going to melt the solder on the end it's real important you put the flux on there because it won't stick to the pin unless you put the flux on. Okay, you got to wait for a while because it's going to take a little while for that solder to melt. Give it about two minutes. Make sure you keep this hand steady. Okay, the pliers don't move the wire any more than you have to. Okay, I'm going to take the solder gun off. We're going to let this cool off. Okay, now that it's cooled off, I give it about five minutes. I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to grab the pliers. And I'm going to go pull straight up. Ah! Bingo! Look what came out. <laughs> That's the end that was stuck in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it, that's the headphone jack tip that was stuck inside the iPad. Now let's turn it on and see if we got our sound back. Okay, let's uh, see if the sound works now. Turn the sound up all the way. Hey! Hey! Looks like it works. Awesome. It was all because of that stupid little pin stuck in there. That's it. Alright. Hope it works for you too. Thanks.